Hey guys, it's Magda. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build. So today I am building something that I ended up calling a Halloween suburban home. Um, so my inspiration for this house is basically pretty self-explanatory. I feel like it's a family in a suburban house that just really enjoys Halloween and I kind of just took that idea and just ran with it. So I actually started in the other lot and I switched over to this one just because I wanted more of like a wider lot than it being narrow. And I feel like the other one was just a bit longer than I wanted it to be. And the reason I wanted it to be wider is because I envisioned this house um, going all out for Halloween. And what I mean by that is kind of having their whole outdoor, um, yard fully decorated with a lot of Halloween decorations. And then also on like Halloween night, um, for like the trick-or-treaters, I envision that this family kind of do, does what my community does here, like my neighborhood does here, which a lot of them, like a lot of the people here kind of just sit out in their driveway and kind of set up like a table and, um, they're like, outdoor chairs and just kind of camp out in a way um, instead of just waiting inside for the kids to ring the doorbell they just kind of sit outside so this is kind of what I was envisioning and I feel like this family just really enjoys Halloween now I didn't re really decorate the inside I didn't really go like too crazy um, but I feel like this family just really enjoys the holidays and just specifically Halloween um, to even the, the point where you guys will see when I actually get into the inside of the house, I actually use, um, the Halloween wallpaper that came with like this spooky pack. Um, I used the ghost wallpaper, I want to say in two of the bedrooms and also the dining room. So this house does end up to be a house for a family and I envisioned, maybe having a teenager and I made the other room for three kids. So one of them is actually going to be for like an infant. I put a crib in there and then the other two um, beds or toddler beds. So I envisioned that maybe they had like twins and then later had another baby, um, not too far apart. So they all three share one bedroom and I kind of made it like very ginger neutral. So I didn't really imagine, you know, uh, the ginger of the babies. Um, it all just kind of, um, is all neutral. There's a lot of yellows and peaches and, um, like, tan colors so you can kind of play with the storyline there but I used the really pretty I want to say it's the ghost wallpaper I used it I used the same one but in different swatches for both of the bedrooms um so I really like how that turned out and I actually had to buy the spooky pack um because I did not own it I actually owned um like the seasons pack and did not have a spooky one and I really wanted to make a Halloween build so of course I had to buy that spooky pack and it's not even a pack it's a spooky stuff pack so I guess it kind of is <laughs> but anyways um I did end up buying it because I really wanted to make this Halloween build specifically well especially right before Halloween and I do want to apologize in advance as well if my voice sounds a little bit off. I am recording this late at night and I feel like my voice is kind of tired from my actual job, which consists of me talking pretty much all day. Um, but yeah, so here I am placing the items that I know for sure I want to have in the build. And again, going with the storyline of having the family decorating the full yard, going fully out. Um, with the decorations. So um, I went ahead and placed the items that I knew that I was going to for sure have and kind of in the location that I was going to um, keep them in. And pretty much everything stays the same except here. I just kind of move that to the side because I wanted it to still um, have like, you know, be a driveway. So I still wanted to include a um, car or a truck. And 
I really like how I placed everything because it's just really realistic for, you know, um, Halloween time and, you know, having, um, all the trick-or-treaters and, you know, all the setup. And here in this archway, I actually place a lot of these pumpkins or jack o' lanterns that came from the spooky stuff pack. And I'm not sure if these are actual live items. They might be because I did get them from the debug menu. So I'm not sure if you guys will have issues with these rotting. Um, maybe so. Uh, but I just thought it was really cute because I I see this all the time on like TikTok or um, Pinterest or Instagram where like people will DIY like the archway, especially with like these bigger suburban houses where these they have like pretty entryways to their like house. And I've always wanted to do one, but I feel like my front door is not big enough to do that. Uh, but yeah, I just thought it was a really cool idea. So I kind of blocked out a lot of it because it was kind of time consuming, just placing one um, where I wanted it to go. And I sized up these huge spiders that also came from the spooky stuff pack. And I had a really hard time placing it. Well, placing the one on top because they stick to the wall. So they are placed, they're supposed to be placed on the wall, like the one there in front of the window. So I had to use the tool mod to kind of angle the other spider that's on top of the roof and for it to kind of look like it's on the actual roof. And I feel like I got it to the best of my ability. I feel like you can definitely attach it closer to the actual roof because on a certain angle, when you have the, um, the walls, a certain, like, a, like certain walls down, you can see that it's not fully placed. Um, but from, if you look at it from above, it looks fine. And then the screenshots, it looked fine. So I just left it just because it was very, very tedious. Um, but yeah, so here I am just kind of, I envision like this area. I was watching, I, I actually was watching Hocus Pocus while I was building this so I could get all the Halloween vibes. And in the part where they go and meet, um, I forget her names. I'm awful with names, but I'm good with faces. Um, when the brother and the sister are out trick-or-treating at the beginning of the movie and they show up to the girl's house, the big, beautiful white house. They have beautiful decorations on the outside of like the hay and the pumpkins. Um, and I kind of got inspired by that and I wanted to recreate that a little bit. Um, so I added a whole bunch of haystacks, which I think came from cottage living, I believe. Um, but yeah, so I used a lot of items from seasons as well. And I feel like I was just overall just really excited to use the stuff from the spooky stuff pack. Um, just because again, it was a new stuff pack for me. And then also it being Halloween, I really, really enjoy this time of the year. I do feel a bit biased though, because my birthday is on Halloween. So I do have like a lot of good memories, um, on my birthday and just celebrating Halloween at the same time and just everyone having a good time. Um, I just, I really, really enjoy it. Um, but anyways, I had a lot of fun with the Halloween decorations. As you can see, I placed those gravestones that came from the spooky stuff pack um, onto the left side. And I think that fencing came from the werewolf pack. And I kind of just fenced it. Um, I feel like it's a really neat uh, Halloween decoration. And I placed the yellow sticker that you see on the window. I want to say that came from Strangerville. Um, so what I did is just, I just kind of kept in mind the Halloween decorations that you would see in real life. So I used the actual gravestones and that casket that came from vampires um, and made it part of the, the Halloween decor. Um, and you might think it's a little strange adding that grill or like that barbecue grill outside. Um, but I've seen that some houses, I want to say like the, the richer neighborhoods, they sometimes give out like burgers, um, or like hot dogs 
for like the families um or maybe they're just like grilling there for like their family and just you know having a good time so that's what I envision and that's why I added that grill in the driveway and the only thing that I do um was kind of hesitant about the house but I feel like it worked out pretty fine was the backyard I wasn't too sure how much space I was gonna have um but once I placed like the actual like decks and um fenced it in I kind of got an idea of how much space I was gonna have and I feel like it was all right um you can definitely mm, add more to the yard by deleting the bump out on the left side of the house um because that's honestly just extra space this house is very big for it just being a one-story house um I ended up having three bedrooms of course and two bathrooms you can definitely add more and this open space back here behind the living room at first I wasn't too sure what to make out of it because I already had like the dining room which is right there in the middle connecting the hallway and the kitchen so I didn't want to add like another table um and I already had bar stools as well um the space there on the island so I ended up closing that space out that room um behind the living room and the one behind the kitchen is actually an office ends up being an office space for um, the family and the other space right there um, leading on to the back door is gonna be kind of what I envision they use as like an art space um, I envision that maybe one of the parents um, enjoys painting and I have some art easels and just some canvases and like a small little art area for the for the child as well and I do have two back doors so the back official door is like um the back porch is behind the kitchen and then there's like a side porch as well um and on the side porch I don't think I add much of anything I might add like a plant station um I don't know if that's what you call it, but like the potting station um, for the gardening. And I want to say on the back porch, I add a smaller grill and a table, um, a patio table. And then that's pretty much it. So this house ends up being very spacious. So if you want to delete that bump out and just make the yard a bit bigger, you definitely have the space to do so. Um, but yeah, so I feel like the kitchen turned out pretty quick. I wanted to use that fridge that came with the new update. Was it an update? No, it wasn't. It was the home shelf hustle stuff pack. Um, that's kind of a mouthful, but yes, uh, I used, I did not use the counters. I don't think I just used the fridge and I want to say these cabinets and counters stay and what I had envisioned for the inside of this house is just very um, colorful and like vibrant. No particular style. I imagine that it's just a mix of different types of styles. Um, honestly, what really inspired me was that blue and like yellow or gold tile that came from growing together. I don't think I've used it in this swatch and once I placed it in the kitchen I just kind of got inspired with it and kind of created the theme of inside of the house based on that and I feel like it was just kind of just vibrant different types of textures and colors and different types of prints and I feel like the the family living here is just very like laid back um, I feel like they have a good sense of humor um, and just really, I don't know, I feel like they're just a really happy family. Um, I know that sounds kind of corny or cheesy, but um, that's just kind of what I was envisioning in the, in this house. And the reason being too is because I use like the ghost wallpapers, um, like I mentioned, in the dining room. And I don't know, I just feel like this, the, the household here is they're just very creative and they don't really have like strict rules or anything on how things are supposed to look. It's just kind of like any item that, you know, they find beautiful or pretty or interesting. 
they just kind of place it in their home, you know, whether it be useful or they just see it as a really cool item. Just they just place it in their home somewhere. Um, so that's kind of what I was envisioning. And then this area right here on the wall, I feel like the parents here are very um, proactive in their kids lives. So that wall is kind of dedicated for them for any like artwork or important information for like school or something all gets brought to that main area. And one thing that I did forget to talk about on the outside of the house, I did place those jack-o'-lanterns. Again, not sure if those are the ones that will rot because I know there are, there are other ones that I want to say came with seasons um, that are like a decorative piece. So I don't think those will do anything. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up if you do end up downloading this house and all of a sudden you see those pumpkins rotting outside um that is why um but if you do want to download this house it will be up on the gallery my origin id is mags 10 martinez which will be down in the description as well and i do upload um all of my videos or houses that i that i do up on the gallery um so you can find it on there and if you are enjoying this video, go ahead and hit that like button and also subscribe so that way you can be on the lookout for my future videos yet to come. Uh, but anyways, here I am just kind of going back and forth from the kitchen and the living room and just placing items that I feel like the family would have. For example, that light up sign that's above the window, which I think is supposed to say open. Um, but yeah, I feel like it kind of goes with the personalities in this household. And for some reason, the microwave does end up deleting at some point in the build. I do make sure to add it back. Um, one of the things that I do off camera is actually, um, the office. Well, some of the office, um, I kind of change up a little bit the artwork and also I want to say I add a side table. Um, and then also tweak up the laundry space or like the back area, which I just add a cabinet and kind of change up the wall. Um, but pretty much at, besides that, oh, and then also the master bath is not on camera just because this video was already long enough. Um, I wanted to cut out something and I feel like we got two bathrooms. So one of them had to go and the parents one is the least interesting um, just because I didn't really use that many vibrant colors. I want to say the color scheme is just like whites and blues um which kind of match like the towel that I used throughout the house um but I did leave that out but of course it will be in the screenshots so you guys can check that out um but yeah I really like how I place these cabinets um and kind of made like my own little console table um using those and then kind of going you know back and forth with like different types of colors and color schemes I really wanted to kind of incorporate like blues and yellows and the kids bathroom is actually very yellow and blue. Um, I feel like that's a color combination that I normally do not use. So I wanted to do something a little bit different when it came to this household. Um, like I said, keeping the personalities in mind that the, this family doesn't really have like a set of rules or like standards on, you know, how a house should look like. It's just kind of whatever they like and whatever they feel. It, it kind of is what how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, so here I go just closing off that space and I really like how it turned out. I don't decorate it just yet. I finish up the living room and after the living room, I want to say I work on the dining room. Um, but the, this space, like the office space, and I guess you could call the art room, um, those, uh, those two spots or those two rooms are the ones that I was referring to. If you guys want to have a bigger yard, um, you can delete those because I feel like those are just extra rooms, um, that you can, um, kind of make, you know, get rid of, um, they're not needed because the other rooms and, I want to say um, even the, the master bedroom, like all of them have plenty of space if you would want to add like a desk, a working 
um, desk and like a, a computer. Um, in any other rooms, there's more than enough space. And then also like the back area where the back door is, I didn't really have much to place in that area. Um, so I env envision that this family has a cat. So there's like a little cat tower um, on that uh, back area. So if you want to play with the household and maybe not include the cat, you can get rid of that side piece of those two rooms and maybe add like the desk um, in that back little area. So that's an idea. And I did kind of go back and forth when it came to like the wallpaper. I wanted to kind of include the colors that had I had already been using throughout the house. So I do bring along the purple um, wallpaper and also the green and kind of just mismatched it throughout the whole house. I only place one high chair in this house, um, but I will make sure to add another one. And then also, I always end up forgetting the laundry baskets whenever I play with like the laundry and I add the washer and dryer. So I will also make sure to do that. Um, for some reason, laundry baskets, trash cans, and I want to say that's it. Trash cans and laundry baskets are the two main items I always forget uh, because I just now noticed that I did forget to add a trash can or like a kitchen trash can in this house. The dumpsters, I don't really tend to forget because I kind of always kind of have like a designated spot for the trash cans or the, dump the dumpsters outside of the house. Um, so those are good. It's always just the kitchen trash cans for some reason I always forget and the laundry baskets. So I will make sure to fix that before uploading it to the gallery. Um, but yeah, the dining room came out pretty quickly as well. I feel like it's not too cluttered up. Um, I feel like it, it's a really good spot. I really like how it came out just because it's in the middle and it kind of ties the hallway and like the kitchen all together and it's just, it's really pretty. Um, but anyways, here I do move on into the parents' bedroom and I use this new bed, which I feel like will probably be my new favorite bed. Um, I think I said this in my previous apartment video. Um, that but this bed came with the a modern luxe kit and it's just beautiful i feel like it's just so very realistic and i can see myself playing with this bed or like adding it in different types of builds so really like that and also i really like how i place these um nightstands on top of the dressers and kind of re like created my own dresser and i feel like what kind of inspired it is I envisioned this one dresser that my mom used to have growing up, um, which was like a full on dresser with like a mirror and everything. And like the mirror like had shelves. It was just like a really interesting um, wardrobe or like dresser. Um, so that, yeah, that's what I was kind of like, kind of envisioning. And I really like that because I feel like it kind of, mm, I don't know, kind of, I, I, I like adding different items together and kind of making like a new object out of that so I really like that and I don't know I just I feel like it added a little bit more character um to just you know the the basic <laughs> dresser um but yeah I really didn't have like a, like I said any type of specific theme or style of house interior that I was going for um uh, besides their personality so I kind of just played and mismatched different types of um types of furniture uh like like you have like a very modern bed and then you have like this older dresser and then like a modern um tv stand and I feel like these parents are probably like young parents and maybe just collected items um through maybe like thrifting or yard selling and maybe like hand-me-downs from like uh, family members and picking out items that just they just find you know really pretty and keeping them um so yeah that's kind of what I was going for and I did skip the bathroom um in the parents bathroom as you see I went straight into the um I guess the toddler's room or like the nursery room kind of put all of them kind of together and I can confidently say this is probably one of like 
my favorite kids' bedrooms that I've ever done. Um, again, kind of biased a little bit because of the ghost wallpaper and me loving Halloween. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's just a very, very pretty wallpaper and I feel like it was perfect for this bedroom. Um, again, kind of playing with the storyline that these parents just, you know, pick and choose what they like and what they find pretty and them liking Halloween and then this wallpaper just, I don't know. It's just something about it. It was just so perfect. And then this, um, rug as well. Not sure what pack it came from, but it's a total chef kiss. I absolutely loved it. I feel like it tied the whole room together and I just, I really enjoyed it. I really, really did like it. I wanted to include something fallish and in like each of the bedrooms, um, that is kind of like items that are very, seasonal um not permanent that maybe they just pull out um on the actual like um halloween or fall season so i did decorate like these cubicles or not cubicles um cell shelf storage <laughs> i can't talk um but yeah so i added like leaves and pumpkins on that and I want to say I go back and add those fall leaves on top of the um tv stand in the master bedroom um but yeah so here I go into the teenager's bedroom and again use the same wallpaper but just a different swatch which is very beautiful as well um I really liked using it and I had a lot of fun placing them um uh, placing it in these bedrooms i feel like normally you wouldn't use you know these wallpapers but i feel like it's very um adequate to to use it here in in this halloween build so i was inspired yet again by the wallpapers so i kind of went off the color scheme and just used a lot of purples and blues um in this bedroom and i really like what i did with the bed here so i just added like the table that we have it's kind of like a, a side table um and kind of just place those two items the bed and the table to kind of add a headboard to that bed and i really like how it came out i do end up cluttering that table a whole lot <laughs> towards the end of this um part of the bedroom and i want to say i place um a tv yeah, I think that TV stand stays there. So it's the same one that I use in the parents' bedroom, um, which came from Tiny Living. Um, I'm really bad, y'all, about naming these packs. Like I said, I'm not good with names, um, but I'm good with faces. I feel like I'm really good with like seeing stuff and knowing if I have it or I don't. But I, I, I'm just, I'm not good with names um so please excuse me on that um but anyways i really like that orange teddy bear that one i know for sure did come from the spooky stuff pack and again adding like a bit of fall um into these bedrooms so placing some pumpkins on the actual dresser i really like how those lights looked on that brick wall as well i feel like for some reason they looked like a little bit more brighter or they kind of stood out a little bit more to me than they usually do um and yeah and for this one I used the white pumpkin and I want to say I don't think I add fall leaves to this dresser I feel like that was a bit much I just kind of clutter it up with just like personal items and then here I do um clutter up this back which would be like the headboard for the bed and just added like random little clutter items, um, some books, a plant. I want to say I add a water bottle. I put the pencil, um, the, the pencil holder on top of the actual bed frame and then the water bottle, I leave it on the actual dresser. And of course, another pumpkin. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like that's pretty much it for this bedroom. I do move on into the entryway. And for the entryway, I really didn't add much besides, I want to say like an entryway table, which is the one that came from the horse ranch pack. Definitely one of my favorite like side tables or entryway tables just because of the size of it. And I don't know, I just really like the textures and the woods on it. 
Um, but yeah, so I really didn't add too much to the entryway table just because the door to the dining room and the two archways just take up take up a lot of space. So I just end up placing that. I move that werewolf um, clock into the living room. And I want to say it's pretty much it. I add the umbrella rack. I add some pumpkins, of course, and some fall leaves, I want to say. And it's going to be pretty much it for the entryway. Um, and then I move towards the back of the house and decorate the little, um, I guess you could say the laundry room um, or like the mud room, maybe. Not sure what you would call it, but I do add the washer and dryer and I do place this half wall, which I want to say I keep the wall like that. The only thing is I changed the wallpaper. I changed it to purple. I feel like the blue was just too much. Um, and then I add a cabinet. I want to say it's a base game cabinet, uh, on top of the washer and dryer just to kind of add storage there. And then here I just place a lamp, but off camera, I do add a picture frame and I want to say a plant as well. Um, but that's pretty much it for that back spot. And then I move on into the bathroom, which this would be the kids bathroom and like the guest bathroom as well. So I didn't want to make it like too, too overly like cluttered, like how I normally like to do my kids bathrooms. Um, so I actually end up splitting it. I add that wall and I end up placing I want to say the um, sinks or like the, yeah, the sinks and the counters in the first part of the bathroom. And I add the sink onto the right side of the wall. And then on the left side, I just do like cabinets and like more counters, um, which I envision is probably mainly for like the teenager. That is probably like her area, maybe where like she gets ready in the morning for school because I add some clutter items like the brush and the little container um, drawer piece that has like a brush hanging out, I think. Um, yeah, and I want to say that's pretty much it. Um, I don't add too many things. Oh, I want to say I actually do add like a cabinet where that tray is. Yeah, so, well, not a cabinet, but like a storage um, storage shelf, I guess you could say. I really like doing that. I've done that in my other builds. And I feel like it just kind of breaks up the repetitiveness of just it being counters. I feel like, you know, it's it's pretty common to see storage like that in bathrooms. So I really like that. And then I liked that green ghost wallpaper that I use, which is a little bit different from the other ones in the bedrooms. It's a different type of ghost. But I feel like it really matched the green that I had going on with, you know, throughout the whole house. And I just really like how, like, random it was. Um, I don't know. I feel like because it you know, it still matches. I don't know. I just, I really liked it. And I really like like this area too. For some reason, I really like matching the, the, the flower piece, um, from base game with that lamp and that mirror. And I just, I don't know. I just think it's really, really pretty. So I feel like this area is still kind of considered like part of like the entryway. Um, so I just add the rack and, um, just those items there and two shelves um, along the hallway so that way it's not too empty and then I do move on now into I guess you could call it the art room I really did not know what to add in here originally I was going to add a piano um, but I kind of shied away from that I feel like going along with the personalities of the family members I feel like one of the parents being artistic or, you know, being creative kind of went better with like, you know, the type of personalities that they had. So, um, I really like that idea a lot better. And then here in the office, I'm not sure what one of the parents does, um, for a, le a living. So I really didn't try to focus on, you know, their, uh, career wise. So just a very general office, maybe, um, it's like a family office. Um, maybe it's just like a work area for everyone to kind of use. I didn't really focus on a specific career choice. Um, I also want to apologize if you guys notice um, whenever I use the tool mod, it kind of looks a little bit like glitchy. 
And reason being is because there is an update on the Toolmon, which I haven't updated. Um, I will make sure to do that on my next video. So that way it isn't, you know, bother any of y'all. Um, it still works fine. It's just for some reason it's like transparent. It just looks funny, but it worked fine. It didn't give me any issues. Um, but I don't want it to give me any issues in the future. So I will make sure to um, go ahead and update that. And I want to say moving on to the art room, I want to say, I, no, I don't. I think that's the candle maker station. I get rid of that and I just use like the flowering one, but I do place it on the side porch. Um, and in this area is just all about um, art. So just a whole bunch of canvases and just easels. And um, yeah, and that was pretty much it. I really didn't clutter it too much. And then for this side porch, it's not big at all. Um, at least this one. So I just placed that. I want to say it's coming up here in just a moment, which is that um, plant station. And then the dumpsters, I do make sure to add that as well. And then, of course, I add the grill, the patio table on the actual back porch. And then I wanted to include activities for the kids as well. So I do add a swing set and a small toddler slide. And I want to say that's going to be pretty much it, guys. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really does mean a lot to me. Leave any comments or suggestions that you guys may have down below. I hope everyone has a happy and safe Halloween. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are and the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are After cup after cup, yeah, it's just the way we do it. Anything just to block out the real life, real life. Yeah, we're loving the way they think we're so messed up. up. Even if what we're doing is bad, there's so many emotions. Sharing stories that we never had yet, none is real. I think we're searching for reasons not to be like them. them. We fly around like paper planes, they never know where we will fall. Nobody can see us, still they wanna tear us apart. There's something different about the way we are.